Here's yet another question dealing with unit conversions, in this case, speeds and miles per gallon. And I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. One is perhaps the faster, more intuitive way. And if you know how to do it this way, it's great. The second way I'm gonna show you is what we did for episode six. Again, another one of these unit conversion, dimensional analysis, factor label method type approaches. So first, the intuitive way. So a car traveled at an average speed of 80 miles per hour for three hours and consumed fuel at a rate of 34 miles per gallon. Approximately how many gallons of fuel did the car use for the entire three hour trip? So what we wanna do is we need to first figure out how many miles were traveled total, and then we know how many miles were, uh, how many miles are used per gallon of fuel, we can then figure out how many gallons of fuel were used. So first we need to figure out how much uh, distance was traveled. So the equation is D equals RT. D is the distance, R is the rate, in this case 80 miles per hour, and T is the time, so it's three hours. So we multiply that, and we get 240 miles. So that's my distance. Now, since it's 34 miles per gallon, this is maybe where a little bit of the trick comes in. How do I figure out how many gallons there are? Well, all I need to do is figure out, all right, how many units of 34 are there in 240? And that will tell me approximately how many gallons were used over that period of time. So 240 divided by 34. Whoops, we'll get an answer for that. 240 divided by 34 gives me 7.05, round it up to 7.06, which is about seven. So we're gonna go with choice D. Now, that might've made a lot of sense to you, and if it did, that's fine. Perhaps this step was a bit confusing. It's not perhaps immediately clear why this works. And what I wanna show you is something that I mentioned before, which is follow your units. This is miles. This unit is miles per gallon. So what ends up happening is these miles units cancel and this unit which is now one over gallons because you're dividing by one over gallons this flips up to the top to become gallons so that's if you follow the units it makes sense why this gives you units as or it gives you gallons as an answer but let me show you another way to approach this which is to uh, do the factor label dimensional analysis method and it kind of shows you the same thing that we just looked at here so the first thing we need to do is start with 80 miles per hour. So we're going to write 80 miles per hour. And we want to convert this into miles. So that means I want to get rid of the hours. Notice to do that, I'm going to have to multiply by hours on top. And when I do that, the hours units are going to cancel and I'm just going to be left with miles. So notice 80 miles per hour times three hours is going to give me my distance of 240. Now though, I want to convert from miles to gallons because at this point my hours units have canceled now I want to convert from miles to gallons now notice I have a conversion for that it's 34 miles per gallon so I'm going to put miles on the bottom here because I want the miles units to cancel and then I'll put gallons up top which is good because I want gallons as my final answer and what's my conversion it's 34 miles per one gallon now notice the miles units cancel. I'm just left with gallons up top, which is exactly what I wanted. And now I do what I gotta do. So 80 times three is 240. And now you can see, again, I'm doing 240 divided by 34, just like I did above. And you can see why with the units that has to work, right? Why you're dividing by 34 and not say multiplying by 34, because you need to have these gallons up top. So I again, multiply all this cross and I'll get the same exact answer, which is choice D. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.